Another important category are yellow, citrus, vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant when it comes to cancer fighting. Another category is orange foods, things like pumpkin and carrots and sweet potato, apricots, mango, so a wide variety. These foods have a lot of fiber in them, which is important for moving things through the GI tract so that toxins don't stay and fester in the GI tract and cause cancer. They also contain beta carotene, which is a very powerful cancer preventing compound. Another category of food and the category that's probably most missing from the typical American diet are green foods. Very, very important. We can divide the green foods up into the lighter green, what we call cruciferous vegetables, things like cabbage and Brussels sprouts, and the darker green leafy vegetables like spinach and kale and chard. They're both really important. The cruciferous vegetables contain lutein, very, very important anti-cancer compound. The dark green vegetables contain folate, which helps the cells to reproduce well and keeps the genetic material within our cells healthy so that we don't get cancer. Lastly, what we consider the more neutral colored foods, the sort of brownish, whitish, beigeish foods, things like onions and garlics and chives and mushrooms, these are allium vegetables and they're very important in helping our immune system stay healthy so that we can fight cancer. Mushrooms contain vitamin D. Low vitamin D levels are an important risk factor for cancer. So these are foods that we can cook with, we can add a spice instead of salt so that you're killing two birds. You're reducing the salty food, which can cause cancer, and you're increasing the cancer-preventing foods.